how to write a five paragraph essay. A five paragraph essay, true to its name, is made up of five major parts. An introduction, a first body paragraph, a second body paragraph, a third body paragraph, and a conclusion. But before beginning any writing, it is important to brainstorm. In a brainstorm, you want to come up with the topic for your essay and plan out your main arguments. If you're trying to come up with a topic, you want to make sure you're writing about something you're passionate and knowledgeable about. So let's say we're writing about why social media is a positive effect on our lives. If that's our topic, now we need our three main ideas, each of which will be one body paragraph in the essay. Remember, a paragraph is about one main idea. So let's say these are the three arguments for our pro-social media essay. It helps us connect with people, it helps us stay informed, and it allows us to be creative with content. Now we have a framework for our essay. The first part of your essay will be your introduction. The introduction serves the purpose to introduce the reader to your topic and lay the foundation for your arguments. First in the introduction, you have your hook. A hook is an exciting and interesting first sentence to capture the reader's attention, so they will want to read your essay. Second, you have the background information, two to three sentences giving some basic information on your topic that will help the reader understand your point. Finally, the thesis is one strong sentence that states your main point and previews your arguments. Now let's go back to our social media essay for a second. For this essay, as a hook, you could open with an intriguing fact, such as, according to a recent study, nearly one in four people in the world use at least one form of social media. Basically, you want to draw your reader into reading the rest of your essay. On background information for this essay, you might want to mention how social media has grown in the past few years, the different kinds of social media, and the ongoing debate about whether or not it's a positive influence in our lives. And for the thesis, you'd want to mention the main ideas of the essay and state your position on the issue. One possible thesis is, the use of social media impacts our lives positively every day by allowing us to connect with other people, stay informed about the world, and be creative with online content. And those are the three parts of our introduction, the hook, the background information, and the thesis. Let's move on to the body paragraphs. Each body paragraph will explain one of these main ideas that we laid out in the framework. The paragraph should each be five to eight sentences. First, you have your topic sentence, a sentence that introduces the main idea of the paragraph. Second, most of your paragraph will be the argument itself in four to six sentences that state and explain the main point, which should be clearly written and in logical order. Finally, a conclusion sentence is a sentence restating your argument and wrapping up the paragraph. Let's put this in terms of our social media essay. Say we're writing our first body paragraph on how social media keeps people connected. The topic sentence could be something like, at its core, any social media platform serves the basic purpose to connect people with one another, which it does in many different ways. For our main argument, here are some points that could be made. With social media, people can look each other up and reconnect with the people in their lives. Friends and family living countries apart can stay connected, and it can be used in times of crisis to check in with family and see if they are safe. Finally, for a conclusion sentence, we could wrap up the paragraph by saying something along the lines of, With a tool like social media, people across the globe can stay in regular contact with family and friends and find new friends. And those are the three parts of our body paragraphs, the topic sentence, the main idea, and the conclusion. Lastly, let's look at how to wrap up our essay with a conclusion. Transition to the conclusion of your sentence by writing a sentence that restates the issue or topic that you're writing about and your opinion. Move on to summarize your arguments in two to three sentences that restate your three main arguments. 
Finally, restate your thesis. Here, you wrap up your essay with a strong sentence that it's your thesis reworded. With our social media essay, a possible transition sentence is, with the rise of social media, people have been able to connect with the world in a way that wouldn't have been possible a decade ago. However, its rapid growth has brought forward a debate on whether or not being involved in social media is healthy in our everyday lives. In summarizing the arguments, we'd have to mention how social media allows people to stay connected, always be informed about world events, and work creatively online. And in restating the thesis, we'd have to take our original thesis and re-emphasize it to end the essay. A possible restated thesis is, our lives have and are being changed for the better through the power of social media and its ability to connect people, inform them, and allow them to innovate. And those are the three parts of our conclusion, the transition sentence, summarizing the arguments, and restating the thesis. And now we have all five parts, the introduction, the first body paragraph, the second body paragraph, the third body paragraph, and our conclusion. That completes our five paragraph essay. Thanks for watching.